Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial on embellishing a plot. At the end of this tutorial, we will learn to modify the attributes of the plot, color, line style, line width, add a title to the plot with embedded latex, label X and Y axis, add annotations to the plot, set and get the limits of axis. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, Python 3.4.3, IPython 5.1.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to run basic Python commands on the IPython console and use the plots interactively. If not, see the prerequisite Python tutorials on this website. Let us start IPython 3. Open the terminal. Type IPython 3 and press enter. Let us initialize the PyLab package. Type percentage PyLab and press enter. We shall first make a simple plot and start modifying it. Type x is equal to Lin space inside the brackets minus two comma four comma twenty and press enter. Then type plot inside the brackets x comma sin x and press enter. We can now see the sine curve in the plot window. The default color and thickness of the line is as decided by PyLab. Let us now change the parameters of this curve. We can pass additional arguments to the plot command to do this. We shall first clear the plot window by typing clf in the ipython console. You can now see a blank plot window. Now plot the same sine curve with an additional color argument. So we will type plot inside the brackets x comma sin x comma inside inverted commas r and press enter here the argument r is for red color on the plot window the same sine curve is now seen in red color do not close the plot window just minimize it we can alter the thickness of the line by using the line width argument. This time we will draw the cosine curve on the plot window. So type plot inside brackets x comma cos x comma line width is equal to 2. Press enter. A cosine curve with line thickness 2 is produced in the plot window. Let us now try to plot a sine curve in blue color with line width as 3. Here onwards, press the enter key to execute every command that we type on the IPython console. Let us first clear the plot window by typing clf. You will again see a blank plot window. Now type plot inside the brackets x, comma sin x comma inside inverted commas b comma line width is equal to 3. A combination of color and line width would do the job for us. To get the plot in dotted style instead of a solid style put a dot in line style. First type clf to clear the plot window. Now type plot inside the brackets x comma sin x comma inside inverted commas dot we get the sine curve in dotted style let's see the information of plot type plot question mark and press enter pause the video try this exercise and then resume the video Plot the curve of x versus cos x in red dash line and line width 3. 
Let us switch to the console for the solution. Type CLF to clear the plot window. Now type plot inside the brackets x comma cos x comma inside inverted commas r hyphen hyphen comma line width is equal to 3. We use a combination of line width argument and line style. Now we know how to produce a bare minimum plot with color, style and thickness. Let us look at modifying the plot further. Let us start with a plot for the function minus x square plus 4x minus 5. Now type plot inside the brackets x comma minus x multiplied by x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 5 comma inside inverted commas r comma line width is equal to 2. We will see the curve of this equation in the plot window. But the figure does not have any description describing the plot. To add a title to the plot, use the title command. So type title inside the brackets, inside inverted commas, parabolic function minus x square plus 4x minus 5. The title command as you can see takes a string as an argument. We can see the title on the plot window. But it is not formatted and does not look clean. It would look even more shabby if there were fractions and complex functions. Let us write the title in LaTeX format for a neater look. For LaTeX format, we put a dollar sign before and after the string. Type title inside the brackets R inside inverted commas parabolic function dollar minus x square plus 4x minus 5 dollar. Here R means that the string is to be treated as a raw string. It will ignore all escape codes. As we can see that the polynomial in the title is now formatted. Although we have title, the plot is not complete without labeling the x and y axis. So we will label x and y axis in latex style. Type x label inside the brackets r inside inverted commas dollar x dollar and y label inside brackets r inside inverted commas dollar by dollar. The plot is now almost complete. Now we will name the points considering point 2 comma minus 1 as local maxima. To name a point we use the function annotate. Type annotate inside the brackets inside inverted commas local maxima comma x y is equal to inside brackets 2 comma minus 1. We can see the local maxima at point 2 comma minus 1. The first argument in annotate command is the name of the point. The second argument represents the coordinates of the point. It is a tuple containing two numbers. The first is x coordinate and second is y coordinate. Next, type x lim brackets. x lim function returns the current x axis limits. Then type y lim brackets. y lim function returns the current y axis limits. Set the limits of x axis from minus 4 to 5 by typing x lim inside the brackets minus 4 
comma 5. Similarly, set the limits of y axis in a similar manner. Type y lim inside the brackets minus 15 comma 2. Pause the video, try this exercise and then resume the video. Make an annotation called root at the point minus 4 comma 0. What happens to the first annotation? Switch to the IPython console for the solution. Type annotate inside the brackets inside inverted commas root comma xy is equal to minus 4 comma 0. Every annotate command makes a new annotation on the figure. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned to modify the attributes of a plot like color, line width, line style by passing additional arguments. Add title to the plot using the title command. Incorporate latex style formatting by adding a dollar sign before and after the string. Label X and Y axis using X label and Y label commands. Add annotations to a plot using annotate command. Get and set the limits of axis using XLIM and YLIM commands. Here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve. Draw a plot of cosine graph between minus 2 pi to 2 pi with line thickness 4. Read the documentation and find out is there a way to modify the alignment of text in the command Y label. And the answers are in order to plot a cosine graph between the points minus 2 pi and 2 pi with line thickness 4, we use the lin space and plot command as x is equal to lin space inside the brackets minus 2 pi comma 2 pi plot x comma cos x comma line width is equal to 4. The answer to the second question is no, we do not have an option to modify the alignment of text in the command y label. Do you have questions on this spoken tutorial? Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the Fossey team will answer them. Please visit this site. Do you have any general or technical questions on Python? Please visit the Fossey forum and post your question. The Fossey team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give on RIAM and certificate for those who do this. For more details, please visit this website. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD Government of India. This is Usha from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.